Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about unit testing on reactive forms by using a form control. Here, we will see about how to test two-way binding in reactive forms. For understanding about two-way binding, please watch the Angular Tutorial Reactive Forms Basic Tutorial. I'll provide the link in the description for better understanding. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here. I have created a input field and a username dot value to display the value and also I have created a form control by using a name called as username. So I have explained the form control and its detailed explanation in my angular tutorial video. Please watch that before continuing this. So now let me go to app.component.spec file where I can write the test cases. So let me create two variables let fixture of type component fixture of app component and also let me create a component instance colon which is of type app component so i have created two variables and let me assign the values for that so fixture is equal to testbed dot create component of app component and i have created the component now let me assign the component instance that is fixture dot component instance so this component instance is used for getting the values or the variables which are defined in our app component dot ts now what are our use cases so here i have created a html file where we have an input field and a value to be displayed so this input field is having a form control whenever i change some value inside this input field that has to be rendered here so for that sake what i'll do is let me create one id for the element input element let me give user name input so this is my id for the input field and also we need to test this particular username dot value which doesn't have any element let me create an element for that just a span a span indicates a normal tag so it will not behave in a different manner for the ui let me create id is equal to display username element there is something like this and let me save this so i have these two ideas now what i want to do is i want to change this input element whenever there is a change happened on this input element my form control value should be changed and that value should be rendered in this particular span let me go to spec file and now let me write it statement check for the value change on the form control and the display value so this is one and which is a callback function inside this callback function let me get the element first so const username element that is a form control field which is of html input element and that is equivalent to our fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my selector it's an id so hash and let me copy the id username input copy and paste here semicolon and we got the username element let's change the value for that username element dot value equal to i am giving something like sai at the rate gmail dot com semicolon and now what i want to do is whenever the value changed it has to be impacted for the form control to impact the form control we have to dispatch an event called as input event username element dot dispatch the event of new event what is my event name it is an input event so whenever i use input event then my form control value will also be updated so this statement is used to update the html element and this statement is used to update the form control element now my form control is updated let's wait for proper updation fixture dot when stable dot then and it is having a callback inside this callback we will be testing it but before all this i have a form control called as a username that will be synced up with our input element so in this case first time itself i have to update the fixture because whenever i update the fixture then only the binding will be happened between my ts and the html fixture dot detect changes and then fixture when stable whenever it is stable then i want to do perform all this operation so let me copy all of this statements and now paste here and after the updation of this dispatch event i'm making whenever it is stable i'm checking the conditions let me check two conditions what are our expectation expect of we have component instance 
instance dot username dot value so whenever this value is updated that means whenever the input value is updated my form control should also update with this particular value so let me copy this and paste here so let me save this now you can see the output if you see here there is a problem why it was throwing an error let's see that the error is expected empty value to equal of first thing why it is showing this the problem is we are using reactive forms but we don't have reactive modules so let me import reactive modules because whenever you have reactive forms module then only the property binding will be working for this form control if you don't use that reactive forms module then this form control is ignored let me save this now let's see the output now if you see there is a success message that means our expectation is right and the second expectation is getting the value from the span so let me get display value colon it's a span element html span element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my selector the selector for the span let me copy this and hash paste here so i have this selector so whenever this value is updated that means whenever my user element value is updated then this inner html should also update to equal of what is my inner html should exist with this but here what i am saying is it will fail let me show that let me save this and if you see here it has been failed why because the expectation is proper but the problem is whenever you have dispatched the event then our dispatch event will change some data in my ts but that ts values will never be updated to your front end code that is the reason we we, we need to update by using detect changes whenever you are using detect changes then only whenever my form control is changed then my detect changes will trigger and whenever the detect changes happen then it will sync our typescript variables with our html variables let me save this and now in this case i am detecting the values and now it will be successfully passed so you can see here it has been successfully passed for better understanding i'll comment this detect changes and i'll show you some experimental piece so for now what i am doing is i am dispatching the event of input then what is our assumption this value should be updated in my html content let me go to the browser if you see here there is sai at the rate gmail.com in the field but there is no value in when wherever we have the span that means the span is not getting updated so whenever the span is not getting updated i am using detect changes let me save this after this change of detect changes we can see the value of that sai at the rate gmail over the span as well let me go back and if you see here we have sai at the rate gmail.com and an input field with sai at the rate gmail.com this proves that whenever there is a value change happened in your typescript it will it may not be synced up with your html then we can use fixture dot detect changes to detect the values over the html content so that is how we will be testing our reactive forms along with the form control in the upcoming videos we will test more about the reactive forms this is a sample explanation for form controls in reactive forms if you like my video please like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you